Hi guys, welcome to my shed. Okay, so I've got a new mould, spray spray, and it is a turtle. And if you can see on it, I'm really hoping you can see this on the camera. Try and get the light on it different ways. This is a different type of mould. And if you can see the design, when it comes out the mould, it should be holographic on that side so it's a turtle and i was going to do it clear just to test it but turtles are green so i'm going with green again so what i've done is i've put tiny tiny piece a uh, tiny tiny lot of mica powder in here because i do want it semi transparent and i've shoved lots and lots of glitter in there so I've got this tray I've just had arrived and I've used this one which is a mix of well it's got holographic it's got a tiny tiny bit of red silver green but they're flakes and glitter I also put this in this is just a cheap glitter from uh, boys in the kids section I put some silver in and I put some green glitter in there as well so it'd be very glittery okay so the resin's got very thick now because I've used this I think this is my third pour I've used it for so I need to get it poured it's only a small small mould key ring by the looks of it because it's got a uh, hole there at the head so I presume For a key ring, too big for a pendant, unless you like wearing stuff like that. Definitely glittery, but the mica powder is just giving it a tint, which is what I wanted because I want to be able to see the holographic side on the other side, which will be the top of the item. Okay, so just put a tiny bit more in. I'm finding at the moment if you put a tiny bit more in, not so it overflows the mould, but it just raises up and the surface tension holds it there, then I don't need to dome it afterwards because it domes itself by being just above the mould. So it makes stuff look loads better. But you've just got to put enough in to not break the surface tension on the top. Okay, I've got a tiny bit of resin left and I've got a free mould with this so it looks like a little teapot it's got some writing in there but I can't see what it actually says so I'll pull that as well at the same time this is what I say about wasting resin there's really no need to waste resin in fact this tiny bit at the bottom I shall probably put into my antlers ready for the next tray that I make some quite big bubbles in there the uh, spouts very tiny okay so that's probably domed itself already it's actually joined together which you don't want okay so i have to wipe that a little bit because it's broken its uh, surface tension Okay, so put that in my extraction box and then I'll reveal it tomorrow. Okay, thanks guys.